So just last week, a dream of mine came true. I got to see the GOAT, everybody. Yeah, Lionel Messi, the greatest soccer player that has ever lived, was in Los Angeles. And because my son is super smart, he was able to get tickets really cheap. And we were there right behind the goal. Quite literally, I was looking through the nets and I was seeing Messi. Not only were we there, it seemed that every A-list celebrity was there. You had Will Ferrell, Selena Gomez. Gomez, LeBron was there, even Prince Harry was there. Royalty turned up to see the GOAT. And you know what I started thinking, everybody? He's not the GOAT. He's a really good soccer player, but there's one who is higher than him, and his name is called Jesus. And I thought to myself for a moment, why am I getting so excited about this, like, quite short soccer player? when I have Jesus every single day in my life. And this is what I started thinking. I've lost perspective and I'm not worshiping enough. Do you know why? Because the goat, the greatest of all time, Jesus is in my life. And I'm going to tell you how great he is by reading scripture to you. This is what Paul wrote to the church at Colossae. And this is what it says in chapter one, verse 15. Are you ready? Are you ready to worship? Here we go. The Son, Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. It doesn't stop there. It gets even better. For he is before all things, and in him all things go together, hold together. Even my mind, my thought, my life, they hold together because of Christ. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have supremacy. Yes, it gets even better. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Everyone, wherever you are, if you're in bed, hands up, come on, he's the goat. If you're driving, keep your hands on the steering wheel, but shout out, he is the greatest and I know your life is challenging. I know you got a lot of things to do today, but the greatest, not of all time, but the greatest of all eternity, Jesus, he is with you, he is in you, he is for you. Relax, everyone. The goat is around, his name is Jesus.